Can I ask you then, what steps are you taking or what action at this stage perhaps to preempt any impact from this new variant? No, I think we can do very little. I think we are well prepared for COVID here. We have seen uh, the first, second, third wave coming and uh, we have produced car very safely in our factories all the time. And, and our offices are also absolutely back to normal. So I think we can handle that here. And the question is if we will have shortage in supply, of course, that is really the difficult thing. So, so there, of course, we work much, much closer together also with the, the second tier suppliers to, to secure the material. That's what we're focusing on right now. Hocken, we talk about the transformation an enormous amount over the years with you, and we're very grateful for that as well. But in terms of the supply problems affecting EV rather than ICE, and I know, of course, EV is where it's at for Volvo cars going forward as well. Is it particularly acute on pure EV cars at all, or is it not actually affecting the transformation? No, it's, it's absolutely equal to, to all car lines. So, I mean, there is a component, uh, almost all components now have a chip inside. So could be door modules, it could be the head unit uh, which sit in, in every car. So, so it's absolutely not worse for, for EVs. So that transformation is going on and that is more ba capacity of batteries which we have then secured uh, years ago to, to have the right ramp up. So we are following the transformation according to plan. As I look at the, uh, the change in the recharge line, very modest from 25% for the first six months to 26% for the third quarter, can you tell us how you expect that curve to change as maybe we go into 2022 and we get greater acceptance of your new strategy? Mm. Now, the plug-in hybrid, uh, that's really a bridging solution and that will continue to grow. Uh, and uh, in Europe, it's around 40 percent. Now it will grow also in the U.S. very rapidly and, and then also slowly in China. So that will come. But the big ramp up will be in pure uh, BEVs where we right now think we sold around 4 percent only in quarter three of, of pure BEVs. Uh, and that's really also the according to the ramp up plan for those models. We had one car out, now we have the second one. But we will really increase capacity mid next year. And then we will have a capacity of around 20% of, of our total capacity will be possible to build pure BFs, BEVs. So that's the, the big increase looking forward.